there. Shermer Inyo here, the special one, BSN TV. Welcome to the BSN TV Soccer Show. Tonight, I'm recording in the uh, Game On, the Game On uh, Indoor 5 aside. As you can see, the grass is green, the walls are nicely coated. We're out in Craigstown Industrial Estate. What have we got for you this week? Well, on the BSN TV Soccer Show this week, we have an inside interview with Ryan Studsy Martin, the Highville Homers goalkeeper. There was speculation during the summer there about Ryan maybe perhaps leaving the Homers. A lot of speculation. Ryan puts in to the speculation. He officially tells his story in the inside interview, which is fantastic viewing. We have Stuart McDonald, an inside view on that Hockle Thistle after today's win. They won 3-1 today, a good kick off for them. We also have an inside interview with the Ballymena All-Stars, who are the ladies, the uh, ladies section of the Ballymena United Football Club. They won the uh, Carrick Cup this week, which is an absolutely fantastic feat. We also have the presentations and some celebrations from the Milk Cup, which was in Ballymena this week in Ballymena Showgrounds, where the finals took place on Friday night. So don't miss it. Stay tuned. Hi there, Sir Mourinho here. We're just going to start uh, this evening's show with uh, a rundown of the scores of the uh, games that were collected in the Ballymena Saturday morning league this week. We'll start off with Division 1. In Division 1, Ballycleel uh, defeated Moilena, three goals to nil, a good win for Ballycleel. Uh, we have All Saints have drawn three each with Penarol, uh, Penarol fighting there very, very hard. We have Abbey View, who were defeated 3 1 by a Hockle Thistle. Highville Homers, the reigning champions, uh, defeated Mitchellin by two goals to one. Carnini Rangers defeated Ahochel Rovers five goals to one. Plenty of goals there for the uh, the old Carnini. Uh, Carnock newly promoted there now. Carnock uh, as second division champions have been defeated three two by Clock Rangers. A good away win for Clock Rangers there I must say. And an all Antrim game there between Shore uh, uh, Wonders and Randallstown Sky Blues finished four each. We now go into the scores of the Division Two. Scores in Division Two are seven Tires Rangers. Or sorry, seven Tars, I should say, who drew 0-0 with last year's third division champions, Race Few. Quite a good game, apparently. Uh, North End uh, drew four uh, goals to four with a uh, Clock Mills. Uh, St. Congles were defeated 4-3 by FC Antrim. And Waveney Swifts were beaten 1-0 by Hollywell. And in the, the Ballymena Sartmore League Division 3, uh, Atletico Steadfast were beaten 2-1 by last year's commiseration team, who apparently are going to provide a lot of surprises this year. Byron Money defeated Steadfast, two goals to one. We have Woodside, who uh, beat Gogorm Blues by one goal to nil. We have Cully Backy, who beat uh, Wakehurst Olympic, or sorry, Wakehurst Star, by seven goals to three. Plenty of action there and plenty of goals in that game. We have Glen Ravel, who defeated a, a Atletico Antrim at Antrim Forum there this morning. A great result for the Glens. And Temple Patrick were defeated 4-3 by Lisna Fillon. Now the final game there today, obviously when I say final game, it was a final in itself. It was hung over from last year, it's a third division playoff. And it meant that Connor, who defeated New Park by three goals to two, go in now to the second division. So congratulations to everybody out in Connor there, uh, Big Huey and uh, young Dale Rogers and the guys. Uh, congratulations to you there, and very, very well done lads. And that's the scores for this week. And after today's game there today uh, at uh, Ahochel there, we're going to go over to big uh, Stuart Donald who has taken up the reins again at his beloved Ahochel Thistle. Stuart's a great club man and uh, it's over to Stuart here. Hello big Stuart, uh, Stuart Donald here, Stuart McDonald for uh, Ahochel Thistle for BSN TV. Stuart obviously uh, you're aware of the club previews every, every uh, week here for the show and I'm very very glad to have you on, thanks very much for your time. No problem, sir. Sure. Uh, sure, how did things go this morning? He's won 3 1 there this morning, a good result, a good three points to start off the season. And uh, obviously, at the end of the day, with uh, losing Garth Montgomery there, as far as uh, progressing on to Glebe Green, to Green there is concerned, how's the cup going? Sure, confidence in the cup at the minute, pre season training, you've got your first three points. What would you say about that? Well, I'm sure we've got a bit to do with Garth moving on, but Garth's only bigger and better things. He's got, he's got the ballet going there and doing well, so it was great to get him in, you know, and we wish him good luck. But I had to stay at Anarchy and it's tough. It's tough, you know, but I'll do my best. And we had a great 3 1 win today up at Abbey View. Abbey View came up last year, won a load of games last year, so it was a tough opener for us. And we got one now, and we equalised through Big Matt Boy, and then Stephen French was sent out for us. Um, we're down 10 men with 
one each, and we dug in, pull our sleeves up, and get a great 3 1 win. Sure. Well, to get the result, I'm mean, being sent off, I wasn't aware, there's only 10 men there and they stood for half the game there. Now, at the same time, sure, obviously, uh, you know, like, uh, I thank you for your time and all that there, obviously, I, I always uh, have appreciated your time for it. But I think, you know, like, anybody out there that's watching the show here this evening there can obviously say, you know, like, sure, the likes of yourself stepping back in there, you're saying it's tough. That's what's taking in the Saturday morning league. That's what, that's what, that's what the, the grind of the Saturday morning league is. You know, everybody knows you're a thistle man through and through. I think it's been great the way you've took up the reins again. I think it's great the way you've kept the whole boat sailing again. You're just straight back on the day again on the 3-1-1. You know, it's about to be a confidence boost for you. Yeah, definitely. That's true. I'm back on, but it's only short term. So we'll hopefully get this the session of thoughts in, you know. But, uh, on to the game there today. You know, we got the way out and, uh, Every club I must have met needs a club man. Someone's going to do all the hard work, stick by the club, do the good times and bad. You know, like every club's got a good man about them, but I'll keep it going. And it's good to see every Star Morning League team back at it. Unfortunately, we lost a few there, and it's great that Realms Town kind of Reds are falling through here now and sticking together, which is very nice to see. Well, that's great. And I obviously I've heard there was a thing on that on the page there the other day. You know, and I was actually talking to guys about that there training there the other night. You know, and that, that's what's taken. As I'm saying that there, sure, you know, it takes people like yourself and a man in every club. He's going to give his heart and soul to the club. You know, and I think personally, uh, from a BSN point of or TV point of view, and from my own point of view, I think it's absolutely fantastic that uh, you, you, you say you're going to get a new manager. Sure, is there something in the pipeline? I always feel it's just getting the man. Well, that's very, very fair, Stuart. That's a very fair comment. But anyway, hi, listen, thanks, Stuart. Thanks for your time. And we're looking forward to next week's uh, preview, whoever it's going to be. And, Stuart, thank you very, very much indeed for your time there. Well, I hope you enjoyed that interview there, folks. Big Stuart giving his uh, very honest opinion. Uh, Stuart's uh, a great club man, and uh, you're all very, very aware that uh, Stuart gives his heart and soul to his club, which is what the essence of the Ballam in the Saturday Morning League is all about. And uh, we're now going to go on to young Ryan uh, Studsy Martin there, a tremendous goalkeeper last year for Highwell Homers. He kept so many clean sheets at the end of the season. He uh, really was a, 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 really a stud figure in the, 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 the club's uh, championship win last year in the Saturday Morning League. Uh, we're go just going to have a chat with Ryan here now. Hello there folks, how are you? Sure Mourinho here, BSN TV. Uh, I have uh, been lucky enough today to uh, run in down the town to uh, a gentleman who I've spoke to quite a few times through uh, the parade of last year. Obviously a new season is just ready to begin, we're ready to kick off here, uh, obviously on Saturday here, which this uh, took place on Thursday obviously. I've run into Ryan Martin. Ryan, thanks very much for giving me your time. It's, I know you're a very, very busy man at the minute and travelling through work and stuff like that there and you're living in Lisburn and whatnot, so thanks very much for your time. No problem, sir. Uh, Ryan, obviously, uh, I'm here to uh, speak to Ryan today. Obviously, Ryan, uh, last year you were very, very uh, cooperative with BSN TV. It was great to have you on uh, the show quite a few times. A lot of people picked up that uh, a young guy like yourself, who had just been making his dent in the uh, league for uh, the Harvey Homers, very, very successful season last year. Ryan, you pl I thought you had an absolutely fantastic year last year. Can you just embark on how it felt to be uh, the, uh, the Homers' number one last year and what it was like to uh, play with such all the, uh, a great camaraderie of guys and do how successfully you've done, you know? Uh, it was a great season, Sherman. Uh, we played really well from the start. Pre-season was really tough. Uh, previous pre-seasons, I hadn't really done any training. Like I would go once or twice, and then just get into the season and let in silly goals. But this season, me and Rab had a chat at the dinner. Like we were a bit drunk, like but when you we were talking about, it and he says if I turned up at training, and that would be his number one. So I just knuckled down this year, and like it's reaped the rewards. Uh, win the league title and keeping a lot of clean sheets which I was happy about but like this year will be even tougher to defend their league title but I'm sure we'll do it like we're more than capable with some of the signings we've brought in as well sure. There's no doubt about it Ryan obviously there's a lot of confidence on board at the moment uh, in the Horrible uh, Homers uh, you've been out training this year right I just want to embark and say uh, obviously a lot of viewers out there uh, had been uh, there's a lot of speculation now on the, the SML page there there was a lot of speculation about other higher teams coming in looking for you and perhaps you may have won is it true that this year you're a Homers man, you're a Homers goalkeeper, you're signed for the Homers, you're definitely staying at the Homers, and obviously you've got your Homers top on, and you're always talking to me how well the Homers are looking forward to this season, so obviously I think that bears witness. Uh, yeah, there's, there was a lot of speculation, but like as I say, there's always speculation. It's not only me that has been linked with a lot of clubs, but like because of the season I've had, like a lot of clubs have been looking at me, but nobody's approached, but... At the end of the day, I told Rav Dottie I wanted to beat the Homers and there was nowhere else I would rather be. But, like, I can't complain with the way I've been treated as well. Like, the Homers stuck by me through a bad period I had a couple of years ago. Like, and not many clubs would have done that. And, like, at the Homers, like, they're like a family, so they look after their own. 
and through that tough time they did look after me but as I say I'm at the Homers I'm happy at the Homers and like that hasn't changed and all the rumours it's just funny to be honest to me like because I never once said I was laying the Homers just everybody putting two, the, two and two together like look at many transfers are linked in the Premiership the teams and it don't happen but as I say like I'm a Homers man and always will be they like somebody else comes along or if I get a chance to even go higher but this season I'm, I'm committed to the homers and committed to winning the league and maybe even a junior cup this year again Well Ryan nobody can fault anybody for wanting to, you, know, you, know, uh, you know like in my day of playing there if somebody had to come along to me and says look you know do you want to go and try this here you know quite, that, that's what advancement's about that's what it's all about that's what it is about you know what I mean you can't just stay where you're at the whole time you know yeah. and uh, listen I want, to thanks for, I want to thank you very much for clearing up about that anticipation here I think it's great folks that Ryan has cleared up this uh, these bits and pieces a lot of talk there you know a lot of, a lot of silly a lot of silliness you know and, and basically you know I just think it's fantastic that Ryan you, you basically uh, come up today and I've met and you've just agreed to let me have a chat with you and uh, look, I wish you all the best for the rest of the season and uh, I'm sure you'll not let yourself down Oh, definitely not Sherman all the best to you for the coming season as well you're doing a great job here at BSN TV and long may it continue I think you'll agree we set the standard Ryan uh, we definitely do <laughs> BSN TV Sherman Reno and Ryan well, that puts an end to that. I hope uh, BSN TV has covered all the situations there for everybody being very interested at this uh, as last couple of five or six weeks there. There was a lot of speculation. People were saying this and people were saying that. And it ended up to be speculation as uh, Ryan uh, Studsy Martin is definitely doing this for the Hummers and there's no other place he wants to be. So fair play to Ryan. And uh, as part of uh, this week's show here, we have a, a special uh, bit here on the celebrations of a, uh, Mexico and Manchester United who represented their elite and premier uh, trophies as part of the Milk Cup, which was an absolutely fantastic festivity. There was thousands upon thousands of people around uh, Balamina the whole week through there. There was two and three games every day. And on the finals night, there was three final games. And uh, we got uh, some of the uh, coverage of the presentations for you. I think it's absolutely fantastic that Mexico, who have won the championship this evening, it's an absolutely fantastic Mexico who have won the uh, elite tournament in the Premiership, or uh, the uh, Milk Cup, I should say, the elite tournament of the Milk Cup of 2013. I just think it's an absolutely fantastic festivity, and it's great for BSN TV to be able to cover this here with a special one, Sir Mourinho, to all you guys out there. I just think it's absolutely great. To lift the trophy here, we have Northern Ireland Milk Cup, the captain. The captain of Manchester United now getting a trophy, the 2013... But you can see the trophy's just getting ready to come in here. It's the young Belgian guy who stood out a mile. He lifts the trophy for Manchester United. An absolutely fantastic festivity here at the showgrounds in Palomina. An absolutely fantastic time they're having indeed. The young guy, he stands out a mile with the trophy there. He is something else. He really is, there's no doubt about it. And it's absolutely fantastic to see the cream of the crop of Northern Ireland really celebrate, or of, or of uh, Manchester celebrating in Ballymena here. And a celebration time and all the milk's being spilled out. Maybe we've got the price of a pint of milk here tonight. But as, as you can see, it's absolutely fantastic. And that's what celebrations is all about there. We're in the showgrounds here. I'm not covered with milk yet. I'm good enough at dodging out the road because I know how to treat a cow. But as you can see, the Manchester United team are absolutely going fantastic. And, and it's just, it's... It's great to see so many young guys enjoying themselves. They've fully deserved this celebration here this evening. That's what it's all about whenever you lift a trophy of this kind. And I must say that there's absolutely no doubt about it. This is great coverage for BSN TV. Some of these young guys will make superstars in the future. And there's absolutely no doubt about it. They are superstars of their own team this evening. Shermarino, BSN TV at Ballymena Showgrounds with Manchester United celebration with all the milk. Well, I'm sure you'll agree there, some of them young guys there really having some great, absolutely fantastic time. What have the young guys not got nowadays? There's some of them young players there, and they probably will go on to make stars of the future. And I must say, on behalf of Sean Mourinho and BSN TV, it's great to have got to see them all now. It's absolutely fantastic. It's just, you know, the opportunities they have, it's, it's absolutely great. And most importantly, it's great that it's in Palomino, our own hometown, and BSN TV got to cover part of it. Uh, that was fantastic there, so now on to the ladies here, we're uh, going to give the ladies a wee section here as much as they deserve it. In history and time gone past, uh, my, mother, uh, my mother passed away in 1981, God rest my mother's soul, a great lady she was, an inspiration to all. And uh, my mother was actually the first lady capped by Northern Ireland in uh, this sphere of the county. Lovely enough today to pick up on uh, two of the freshest ladies with uh, the, one of the biggest cups I've ever seen. This is Michelle McDonald from uh, the Balloween United All Stars and Rebecca Reynolds. With Rebecca Reynolds as well, with the hugest trophy I have ever seen. It's something resembling the Champions League. Yeah. This is the Canada Cup or the uh, Carrick Fergus Cup, is it? Yeah. And the, the ladies uh, All Stars team from Balloween. Uh, 
uh, representing the female side of the sport in Palomina. Uh, for me, this is a very, it's a very, uh, it's a very uh, memorial type of thing for me here because uh, my mother was one of the first ladies ever capped. In fact, she was the first lady ever capped by Northern Ireland in uh, this fair of the country. And it's a very proud moment for me, Michelle. I uh, hope you don't mind me saying that you're well aware. I've told you that before. Yeah. I think it's absolutely fantastic that the ladies have a team in Palomina. They're able to go and compete for trophies, and not only compete for trophies, but lift the trophies and bring it home. How did it feel to lift this gigantic trophy? That was great for the team, just personally, it was quite a good season this year, the first team were challenging in the top two, and the reserves are currently top of the league, um, so it's just been a real, it was a real lift and a real motivation for the whole team. And it's something you deserve, Michelle, because you've, worked, you've all worked so hard, yeah, you know, there's yeah. no doubt about it, I'm very, very, very well, I'm, I'm a big follower of you, you know, because of my mother's involvement with the football over the years, and Rebecca, You've been here for quite a few years, and obviously with Michelle not there, you're all you're all bound together. You know, and th you know it must be absolutely fantastic for you. Ah, it's great to win it with the girls. They're a great bunch of girls. You know, we get on well with each other. It's just boosts to everybody's confidence, and yeah. great to lift such a big trophy with them. And that's what's all—that's what's all about. I think the, com the camaraderie you all have together. I think it's great. You know, you all go out for a drink together with each other. You all go out and uh, have your uh, your food with each other. You know, and I'm sure you can. You know, I think it's about time maybe. Uh, a wee bit more it was done for you, as you know. So as far as myself is concerned, Chairman, you know the special one, and BSN TV, I wanted to offer you this moment in time because I think it's well deserved it. You just want to give me a with that trophy there, ladies. Yeah. Well done to the Balmain All-Stars. Thank you, girls. Thank you. Well, I'm sure you'll agree there that uh, that was a fantastic interview there with the girls, and it's quite a huge, huge trophy. I wouldn't let you be paying for the drink that has to go into that trophy. Massive trophy, a great opportunity for the girls to get a bit of coverage, they deserve it. Sure Mourinho, special one, BSN TV is only too glad to offer them it. I think it's fantastic that they've done so well. Well that's the end of this week's show, I hope you all enjoyed this week's show. There's uh, only one th last thing for me to say, I want to thank Mr Calvin Martin for letting me use his tremendous premises here at uh, Game On 3G Indoor uh, Complex in the Craigstown Industrial Estate, in the Craigstown Road. This place is up for hire, it is absolutely fantastic, it is second to none, it does an absolutely fantastic job, thanks very much to you Calvin. I also want to thank my co-producer Alan Kirk at a, uh, Arc Media, wouldn't be here without him. And uh, from myself and of course to Show Pro Embroidery, my official sponsor, and from myself the special one to all you guys out there, I hope you all enjoyed the show, I'll see you all next week.